Greetings future digital product sellers. Welcome back to my tutorial training on selling at JVZoo. Today is part nine, how to set up your product listing at JVZoo. So let's head over to my URL here. This is what it looks like and we're gonna replace all the buttons, the buy buttons later on after we are done setting up the product listing. And what I like to do is load up all of my pages so that everything is ready to go so I can copy and paste them later to my product listing. Okay, so here are all the other pages, my upsell, my downsell discount, thank you page for customer download, and my thank you page with the upsell download. Okay, head over to your JVZoo, and then make sure you log in and go to the seller's dashboard, which is right here. You will arrive at this page, click on add a product, Okay, so here it is. This is the product listing setup. It looks quite a pretty long form to fill out, but it's not so bad because you can use the duplicate product listing later on. Okay, so first let's add a product name and then internal product name is not really necessary. You don't need that. Discoverable to affiliates. So make sure you check that if you want affiliates to promote your product or services show in the new public marketplace so make sure you check that and here are the requirements it must be $17 or greater and you must have an uh, associated image that's uploaded with your product which uh, we can do later in this product listing uh, setup have a product description so uh, 50 characters that's easy so pretty much the only real requirement is the $17 this is not a good requirement forcing everyone to sell at least $17. I don't like it, but uh, whatever. So let's continue adding a description. As you're typing your description in, you can see here it turns green to uh, let you know that you met this requirement. So that's pretty nice. And now category, select whatever uh, fits your product. There's a lot of categories to choose from. Okay, product max, I'm just gonna do 17, but again, you don't need to do 17, just do whatever. It's your main product, $9, $7. And again, your affiliates, the affiliates will still be able to see your products, even if you're not seen in the public marketplace. This is mainly for visitors and customers just browsing the marketplace to buy products. The most important thing I think is this right here, the affiliates are able to see your product so that they can promote it so you can get sales through your affiliates. Okay, launch date, if you wanna schedule a launch date, you can do that here or launch it now. Commission, you can set that here. I usually do 75% on everything just to keep it simple. And you can also do a flat fee commission, but that's not really popular. Okay, here are some more advanced settings. You can uh, sell as a subscription, and it gives you this warning right here. Just making sure that you realize that not all option, payment options uh, support recurring payments. If you have PayPal, then you should be uh, just fine. Okay, now how to handle rebuild repeated failures. You can freeze the plan or cancel it. Payment period, how many months between each payment? usually one and you can set total numbers I think the max they allowed is 99 if you want to give a different commission during the first payment you can do that here for instance 100% commissions go to the affiliates in the first payment or first month only and then after that your default which is 75% right here will take over on the second month and onward okay now for the trial period you can set a trial price, for instance, $1, and the trial length, let's say seven days for this trial. So seven days for $1, and you can set a special commission for that trial payment. So you can do another 100% here. So the affiliate will get the $1 or whatever net after all the fees. The affiliate will get this commission for that first seven days. And then after that, the regular payment, it's going to be 100% on the first payment and then after that on the second month it's going to be 75% for the affiliate and the price is $17 
for every month after that every month after the trial I hope that's not too confusing so anyways that's for subscription now let's turn that off because I'm not doing subscription now dime sell so a dime sell is where you can start a price at a different price than the normal price which is $17 right here so let's say if the starting price was uh, let's say five dollars it will increase by let's say one cent and this will increase after every one sell so after let's say somebody buys my product for five dollars and then the next person that comes is gonna see a new price of five dollars and one cent and then somebody buys that and then the third guy comes it's five dollars and two cents so that's how it works if you want to create urgency and that's why you would use the dime cell because uh, if they come back later the price may be higher now time sell is kind of similar if you want to increase the price after a certain amount of time so let's say today is August 1st and let's start the time at 1 p.m. and the price the starting price let's do five again now on the next day August 2nd at 1 p.m. the price is gonna be six dollars and you can do that for as many days as you want and then this way your uh, customer or your visitor will see that if they don't buy today tomorrow it's gonna be a higher price so it creates urgency and uh, make sure you mention that in your sales page if you do try it either a dime sale or a time sale make sure you include in your sales page that if the visitor comes back later the price will automatically increase I'll just leave those uh, alone for now and I already set up my payment option for PayPal. Now for affiliates, three options right here, manual approval, auto approval, and no affiliates. And I would not recommend using the auto approval because there could be a lot of low quality affiliates, or spammers out there. So always do manual and affiliate terms. And you can keep it pretty basic. And nowadays, JVZoo have a pretty nice stats of the affiliates when they submit to promote your product. And you can conveniently see their history with JVZoo. And I'll show you guys that later on in a future video. Okay, so here's an example. And you can add in some additional details about your sales funnel, your product prices. And all new affiliates are subject to 30 days refund period before receiving their payments. So they have two different sections, but you can uh, use whatever you want. All right, down here, make sure you add in your support email, support URL if you have one, like a ticketing system, and most importantly, the sales page URL. Okay, so I got my email, my support URL. I don't have a ticketing system, so you don't need to uh, use that. So copy down your URL that's why I told you guys earlier that I like to load up all of my pages and thank you pages ahead of time in my browser so I can just copy and paste them later and I can also check if they load up correctly so here's my URL just paste it in just like that now these optional settings I never really mess around with and most likely you won't be using them either so your pre-launch page will likely never be seen so there's no point in activating those and then automatically send traffic to your sales page after the launch day. So that's uh, with the pre-launch, so you don't need to mess with that. And affiliate ID uh, to sales page, you don't need to mess around with that either. Now checkout template, they have a few different options here. And the recommended one is this one right here. It shows your product image right here too. So let's select that, click here, select it. And this way you can also add a uh, banner you have something that shows at the top of the page a banner and here are the sizes if you want to do that otherwise uh, here's the product image to be shown in the public marketplace you need to have a product image if you remember from up here it says you need a product image so let's go ahead and just add that here right now select image okay find your product image and click open and you can see it uploading right here product features if you want to add in something with the product features you need at least two and maximum of four okay so just type whatever feature and then click plus all right 
customer testimonial if you want to add some of that add it right here select an image author name testaments and now down here with the receipt you don't need to add anything if you don't want to otherwise you can just leave it blank electronic deliveries never select jvzoo hosted file download always use your own thank you page download page and again copy and paste this is my thank you page and the benefit is you can add more like special offers your upsells other products cross promote affiliate products uh, you can also add in your lead generation opt-in form you can do a lot of things with your own thank you page let's paste that in just like that and you don't need to pass any parameters and return period that's the refund period set that for however many days you want and definitely i do not do physical delivery so you don't need to mess with that either unless you sell supplements or some kind of physical dvd physical books you can do that and you want to collect additional information from your customer like phone numbers you can select that right here and compliance is where jvzoo will need to access your product for approval so if you have any kind of password or username then you can supply that information here advanced settings 100% and use this it builds your customer list add it to your autoresponder so right now it's default to my get response if you click here load defaults it will load up the api key and also my default list and you can also select whatever list as well for this product click on load default and my api key is loaded up automatically and then i can select my list so i have a list for jvzoo customer and let's continue we're pretty much at the end right here you can add these additional advanced settings like go to webinar tracking pixels and membership and other integrations which i don't use and most likely you don't need to mess with those either okay that's pretty much it now click on save my product and i forgot to mention one thing super important if you have a product worthy of being the jvzoo top pick or deal of the day make sure you select this right here and if you want to give jvzoo a higher payout for this product right here usually uh, you want to encourage them to pick you you would give them a higher commission 100 percent on this front end product and giving them 100% does not guarantee that they will pick you. It depends on your quality of the product and also conversion rates and sales that you're making. Save. Okay, you will see this right here. Your product was successfully saved. Okay, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see a list of products that have uh, not been approved or inactive. So here's my demo product and to duplicate this so that makes things a lot easier so that i can set up for the upsells and downsells okay to duplicate a product listing go all the way down here to the bottom of the page duplicate product select your product from this drop down menu locate your product click on duplicate product okay your product has been duplicated and it is marked inactive so that's at the bottom of the page Okay, scroll all the way down, find your product that says duplicate, and let's edit this for our upsell. Okay, and we do the same thing all over. Okay, I'm gonna call this my demo upsell. And then once again, if uh, you're selling this for real, make sure you check these two boxes, but I am not, so I'm going to leave those unchecked. Set your price, and then make sure you give it the new description for your upsell. And here make sure you allow sales and commissions for me personally I do 75% for just everything to keep it consistent but again a lot of top sellers they do 50% on the upsells or 60% so that's up to you to decide and I do not want a dime sell so make sure inspect that and then leave this checked for JVZoo top pick but on the upsell you can just give JVZoo if they decide to pick you 60% special commission make sure you select PayPal or whatever option you're using and then make sure you 
add in the correct sales page so this would be my upsell so copy this right here and then paste it in my upsell and then I also have a thank you page so here's my upsell thank you page paste it in okay thank you upsell okay that's pretty much it and then save your product all right your product was successfully saved okay and if you have any more upsells and downsells so for me I have another uh, discount downsell right here and I'll go ahead and do that and do the same thing over just duplicate okay everything else looks good save okay the product has been saved successfully Okay, if you go to the bottom of the page, you will see your product listings. It probably still be marked as inactive or it's still pending approval. So these are my three that I just set up right here, the demo front end, upsell, and downsell. And we don't need to mess with the buns yet. In my next video, part 10, set up sales funnel at JVZoo. That's when we set up the sales funnel and also set up the buns and connect everything together. Okay, that's all for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to How to Webmaster for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on internet marketing. Thanks again, and happy marketing.